Hi guys! Hi. <laughs> and welcome to Midgard the RPG, where a bunch of uh, friends play tabletop games and stream it. Um, my name is Hikaru, and uh, today we have uh, Legend of Hyrule, Chain of Awakening, our uh, Legend of Zelda based D&D 5th edition game. And these are my players. Hi, I'm Garbreak One. I play Dargo, the Goron Goron Warrior, and sometimes I use the correct accent. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pi. I'm playing Mavar, the Edgelord Fishy. Uh, he is a Poseidon, and souls are great like cookies. Hi, I'm Masayo. I play Tika, the reader, Rito Sharpshooter, and I apologize. I am having trouble talking tonight. I'm hoping it won't uh, flow over into Tika. Hi, I'm Sho. I play Zedrin, the girl guy, a uh, Hillian, the spell sword, who is having a lot of awkward moments and much confusion. Hi, I'm Talani, and I play Raba, the Garuda Skirmisher, and she is so happy to be home with her wife right now. So happy. For now. <laughs> I'm scared Wait, that now. Was... That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the last one. Okay. Good. Good. Should be. Um, all right, so we last left off. You guys had finished the second temple, the Spirit Temple. Um, have now acquired the Master Dagger and a cool lightning javelin so that uh, Rava actually has a decent uh, weapon that she can use when she's not up close and personal. And um, decided to go check on Rava's wife. You know, just, just because you were in the area. Just... And definitely has nothing to do with anything you saw during the temple. Um, you guys met her, had a bit of a chat, some eavesdroppers may have overheard some stuff about a growing family, you had some tea, which Darko says is very good. I like it. <laughs> uh, and then you guys all settled down for the night. I assume. Some more settled down than others, uh, because after everyone goes to sleep. Or not, as the case may be. Or not, as the case may be. Uh, Rava and Nali go out for a walk to chat without, you know, people overhearing things. What are the rest of you actually doing? I don't know yet. Asleep. Uh, let me roll to see how much I actually want to sleep. I mean, you've been traveling all day. You fought some stuff. Well, yep, sleep. Uh, wh what's the water situation in this place, Talani? <laughs> Yeah, um, you may notice, based on the map, that it is a desert. <laughs> well, yes, but you have these things called goats, and they require moisture. Yeah, because yes, otherwise, no. when they crave that mineral, <laughs> then they're just dehydrated. <laughs> yeah, I think they actually get a lot of their moisture from the plants they eat. Um, there's, okay. there's, there's, there's drinking water. And not a lot more than that. Sigh. Sad panda. We eat, uh, around here do we have cacti? Not so much. This particular part is pretty scrubby. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, because you're there. in the, you're in like the, the foothills of a mountainous kind of range. There's there's definitely cacti in the desert, but not this particular patch. I um considering because I've I've actually lived in desert areas, 
uh, I would say there's probably like rough, uh, like a dry kind of grass in the area. There might also be cacti like plants, but probably higher up, like where it gets a bit cooler, like closer to the mountains where there's actually rivers. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to casually get up, and if anybody asks, I just need to use the little fish's room. Okay. So that's um, the entire universe for a fish. <laughs> Can I just say I love you, Mavar? <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I guess probably... Hey, to... If the entire world is the little fish's room, then clearly no one's going to mind if I go over here. Oh my god. <laughs> I, 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 I would like to like contest yourself with a perception or something like that. Yeah, because I still have to be like dead silent. Yeah. Car, how would you like to do this? Um, I mean, yes, Mavar's trying to be stealthy to follow you two, so stealth versus um perception. He's yeah, he's probably got like advantage. Yep, because invis is not like it matters. Oh boy, no, it does not. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Rava does not want to be interrupted. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, okay, good. <laughs> um, Rava turns and looks direct, like roughly the direction that Mavar is in and says, Mavar. And she crosses her arms and waits. <laughs> bah. <laughs> That was astoundingly bad. <laughs> Please let me and my wife have some privacy. But, 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 but. We're not a soap uh, opera before. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, you see Mavar materialize in the middle of the air, spin around a couple times until he stops after doing what amounts to a 180, and, uh, <laughs> with little dust trails following him, because it's the desert. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, girl. Nolly is probably grinning at this. You have some interesting companions, Rava. Rava just gives a big sigh. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, is he the only one, Cape? Uh, was, he was invisible, wasn't he? Uh, when he, he came out, yes. Yeah. Is there anyone else in your party who can go invisible and might be stalking us? Invisible? No. As invested in... And she looks, she's like, as, no. They're not following us. They're asleep. Okay. Well, let's go a bit farther away, because I suspect while he isn't following us, he's definitely trying to listen. Mm-hmm. I am not! <laughs> <laughs> Was that in character? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love Mavar. Uh, hey, Tika, what are you up to? Getting ready to nest down as you have had to for the last few days? Because there's no... Um... <laughs> I do feel like Rava would have offered to make, like, an actual little nest. It's not in a tree, but it is like a bunch of uh, rags arranged nicely on the ground. And Aww. Tika basically let it drop once there was no high places. She's uh, being weird. Um, but once, oh fuck. Once everyone starts, uh, seems to fall asleep. 
Um, Tika is going to try sneaking out. I'm going to say I rolled a to Karu. There is no way Mavara is going to miss Tika trying to sneak out because, dear God, I had an awful stealth roll. And yes, my character is going to be making very bad decisions. Show. Oh yeah, you over doubled with your perception, Mavar. <laughs> but Tika is basically sneaking out of the tent. She's not going in the direction Rava went, though. Hi. Also, Karu, you were talking and you're muted. And you're sneaking out with basically your entire gear. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is that actually what happens, Pi? Oh, God, why are you rolling a wisdom? Well, if I couldn't listen to Rava, this is clearly the better idea. Follow Tika. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I rolled a five. If it rolled okay. above a ten, I was just gonna go to sleep. Um, are you trying to be stealthy, Mavar? Or because Tika's perception is shit, but yeah, and you notice that she's trying to be stealthy, like trying not to alert anyone as she leaves the oh. tent. <laughs> Oh, I'm pointing out Tika's passive is 12. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you do have advantage because of Vanish. Yeah. Uh, okay, so 18. <laughs> Still better than her passive. Yeah. So I suspect she's probably on high alert, so why don't you give me a perception check? <laughs> okay. What better Amazing. Than passive? <laughs> Tika is not a perceptive individual. You guys know this at this point. <laughs> All right, so you see Tika basically looking about, making sure no one's uh, around. She probably waited until the sounds of Rava and Nali like faded into the night, and then she just like slips out of the tent real quiet, and you follow very quietly and not being noticed this time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, let's be honest, it's not hard to not be noticed by Tika. Um... She goes a little ways away and then starts basically readjusting her bags and shit and it looks like she's getting ready to take off flying in a minute. Just doing a double check of all her uh, equipment. Where are we supposed to save you from if we don't tell if you don't tell us? <laughs> ah. Oh, hi, uh, Mavar. Um, also, you're a terrible scout. Huh? How did you not notice I was following you the entire time? Before you're still invisible! How am I oh. supposed to notice you? I figured you couldn't see in the dark anyway, so uh, why would I be invisible myself? Uh. <laughs> notice me so <laughs> uh, What are you doing up? I thought you were maybe going to go and try and listen to Rava and that stuff you were really interested in. I, I was. And then they wanted to have some alone time. -o. Oh. Yep. Uh, so I should back to the house. So where are you going? Um I uh leaving. Uh, what? <laughs> Good. Uh, we we need all of the heroes to. But are you working for Ganon? No. That's actually really insulting. Well, so is the fact that you're leaving this group without telling anybody, with um, being really shady about it. Well, I mean, I. Uh... So, I figure I it has something to, to do with your vision. Uh, yeah. 
it absolutely does. Okay, at least what city are you going to? That I can't tell you, actually. <laughs> can or won't? Both, actually. Huh. Uh. Well, how are we supposed to find you again, then? Um. Uh, Mavar, um. What I saw in my vision isn't something that happened in the past. And, um. Now we know Rava's vision was not a vision, and it was real, and she was somehow here, and did things, despite the fact she was in the temple with us, and then before that was with us, and, um, mm -hmm. if what I saw was real, and, um, it, it would be really bad, not to mention if it was real when I disappeared, is not going to be good and helping, and anyways, um, uh, and... Oh. Uh, what would I want to roll to remember something? Carl, you're muted. <laughs> she is so lucky I can hear her talking in the mm -hmm. other room. Roll to remember um, to unmute yourself. Yep. Let me reset my mouth. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> words. Probably yeah. insight. If it's something, oh that's wow, not, like, that's a all right. Too. So, what was boyfriend Birdie's name, and where were where was he going? It wasn't boyfriend. He was um, Shut up! You're not here. Uh, his name was Fink. <laughs> Fink. I and you have no idea where Tika what sent. A reliable sounding person. He. You guys don't know where Tika sent him, yeah? Okay. Like do she we never told any direction or anything. No, she she was kind of secretive when she told him things. Uh, if anything, if I remember correctly, it and considering Mavar's. Uh, All know, right, uh, she told Fink to circle around first and go in a different direction, and then go to wherever. Yeah. If anything, I would say I believe I re recall Zed looking like he had a idea of where she was sending him but shit just you... based on like the look he gave them when he was leaving say you wouldn't is it mating season is this what we're doing huh are you looking for the you, you the, the way birdie uh do you mean Think that kid we saved? Yes. Ew. <laughs> That's no. And uh, honestly, if everything in my vision was how I saw it, I am hoping I didn't kill Fink. I I might have actually. You what? <gasps> <laughs> You're not their show. Okay, um, Karu, can I take a look around and <laughs> see if literally, can I take a look around and see if it, it seems like anyone else might be listening in on this? Because Tika's really fucking nervous right now. If Just she's looking me. around, I would be like, what are you looking at? <laughs> yeah, give me perception checks. <laughs> she sees oh absolutely nothing. You're the worst. She is the worst. So, Mavar, you see her look around and basically see absolutely nothing. It's getting dark. <sighs> okay, um, Mavar, um, <sighs> okay, so basically, what I saw in my vision was what happened in Rito Village 10 years ago happening again. The thing is, we don't aren't allowed to have villages anymore. They aren't even allowed to have more than five Rito in a settlement. So, um, this thing doesn't exist, okay? But, um, I, uh, 
saw Fink leading Ganon followers to that place that doesn't exist. Oh. So I might have shot him and um, also pissed off the Lionel that he was leading to um, the no. escape route. Ha. Yeah, that, that, that that's how I was so hurt when I came back, um, because I fought a Lionel, and my vision ended with me leading that Lionel away from the danger. Well, not the danger, uh, uh, my people who were escaping. And if my vision is something that actually happened, that means I disappeared while trying to lead the Lionel away from my people. And if I disappeared, he might... I am really, really hoping that wasn't real. I was hoping coming here and proving Rava's vision wasn't legit would prove that that wasn't real because that oh. village is all that's left of my people who aren't restricted by Ganon's laws. Was it hot, sandy, snowy, grassy, wet? Um. Because <sighs> if you haven't noticed, you are shit at looking for things. M Mavar, my people's village, I know where it is. Um, the the uh, one that doesn't exist, right? Yeah, yeah. the The place that doesn't exist, I I know where it is. That's where I live. Or at least where you would have it. Y yeah, that's where I uh would have lived for the last ten years. Um, it, it's cold, very cold, actually. It, it's really nice, actually. I really like the cold. Um, but uh, <laughs> hashtag relatable. I I mean, the thing is, I. I know, relatable. I know we would uh, have to go there at some point anyways, but I, I, I trust you, and at this point I think I trust Zed, but... How many days does it take to get to this place that would be perfect for a village if a village ever existed? Um, give me a moment to look at the map so <laughs> I can answer Not that figured. question. Um, actually, Kara, would you be able to transfer me over to the map for a second? Just me, so I can measure it out? Because, <laughs> god damn it, you, you, you have a clue. Um, <laughs> please, Karu, thank you. This is great. <laughs> okay, so we're right where the X is, yes? No, the heart. Okay, okay the heart. Okay, so, let's see. I feel the like I tried to stay for another salt opera. But instead, got like the the after school drama. <laughs> ah, <laughs> school because <laughs> they're fish. <laughs> um, so, um, on foot, if we go in a way that isn't possibly going into dangerous locations, it would take us a month. Flying? Walking. I'm going to guess. No, but flying, I'm going to guess it takes significantly less. About half the time. Like, I'm sorry, but that goes really slow. Um, I, yeah. And I'm going like, to roll him into a snowball. But... I, I mean, like, <laughs> I... <laughs> I... <laughs> There's one other thing you should know, Mavar. Um... I I wasn't okay telling everyone else this yet, but I figured since I'm telling you all this and I think you understand what it's like to want to protect what is left of um we would have to go there at some point because that's also where the air temple is. Oh, Uh, is that a commonly known thing? No. Uh, as far as everyone else is concerned, no one has any fucking clue where the Air Temple is. 
Okay. Besides maybe somewhere in the mountain range. Vaguely-ish. Yeah. All right, then. I mean, I wasn't ready to tell you guys that I knew where that was, because that's also where the uh, not village is. Yeah, I think you're going to need a healer if you're going to go faster than the rest of us. You take care of the uh, coffee bean. Shake, shake, shake. Hey, be nice to Cappy. Listen, she has to be awake to know what's going on and to know that she needs to shut up if the jar opens. Uh, so you carry her in case she's useful. And uh, I'll hurry their asses up, I guess. I mean, it's not like we can be missed. There's a giant rock. Tika carefully takes the jar and is like... You see the little light, light like, moving around inside. Kind of excitedly. <laughs> <laughs> kind of? Oh, dude, she's vibrating. Bounce, 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 bounce. bounce. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> do I have any other bottles on me? And by that, I mean, what's in the other bottles I have on me? Uh, didn't you have at least one bottle with a postal in it still? I've got two with postals. That's what I thought. One <laughs> caffeinated fairy, five empty ones, and a potion of magic. Do you even use magic aside from nope. that one? Nope, I do not. Magic is not my thing. I do not have the intelligence or wisdom for magic. <laughs> do you... Do Rito use magic? In character. Uh, they can, I guess. They're like any other race. If you sat yeah. here, you'd be able to. Tika's just a freaking archer. Like, she has no interest right. in magic besides magic arrows. I have a feeling that either someone that you know or some caffeinated little fairy may need an energy drink. So he's going to hand you the potion of magic as well. Because you can always, like, dribble some on Kathy if she needs it. Um, Mavar, I think that you, once. you should probably keep that. I, I do have one of those as well, but um, you use magic more than I do. And I, you guys are going to be down a person and... Uh, Do you think the others are going to be mad at me for doing this? What are you talking about? Also, please about? don't tell them all this. I was please. sleeping. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Sleeping and try and figure out what the wives were doing. I think they're kissing. Discreet, <laughs> 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 please. Hilarious, Mavar. I like that kissing is the only thing you think they're up to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> like, no one's watching. They're probably smooching. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, I guess we'll um, be going. I, I hope one of them knows where the mountains is. I'm sure Rava will. She's smart. Uh, shit. Um, fuck. I have a question for Karu, but I, I don't mean, know how to word it properly. Everything's like northeast, so I assume it's northeast. Uh, I can put you guys on the map page. Since I'm no longer measuring shit. I mean, you can hide your measuring from other people now. Yeah. True enough. Uh,. So there's two big mountain ranges, the Hebra mountain range and the Elden mountain range. You already know that the Fire Temple is in the Elden mountain range, where the Goron city is. And, I mean, if nothing else, we would start there and then go to the Hebra mountain range if it's not in Elden. Yeah, because the only other place is probably... Dargo would know. Yeah, uh, the other only other like mountain range that has enough height for it would be north of Lurlin village, but that one doesn't even have a name, so... I guess technically there's a very small one on uh, on Lanayru. Lanayru too, yeah. Yeah, it could be that like one mountain in 
<laughs> Listen, there was a white spot, and then there was a one mountain triangle. Yep. So, odds are it is northeast. <laughs> Time to take up. Oh, God. Now that's do you guys understand? Go, that's if we go straight there instead of Goron City and then north. <laughs> yeah, because Goron City is so safe. Like, I think Mavar would understand that there is a lot of hostile territory. Yeah, I mean, the only non-hostile route would be going around the other side, like Hateno Village and then north. And by that, you mean across Lake Hillia. No, 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 no. Oh, South. well, I mean, that's another that would be yeah. safer. But, 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 yeah, but, yeah but you can go this way, basically, first, and then uh -huh. go north. But if you go north first and then east, you uh, yeah, avoid you village could go... and you avoid the city. And yeah, Old you Castle could go Town. basically here, like that. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Either way, that's a lot of walking. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh, you also remember that you know that the water temple is around this area, so. Alrighty then. Okay. Uh, my fishy fins are gonna go sleep and, uh, good luck. Thanks, Mother. And blame, blame, sorry. Blame. And no, I get it. Sometimes you just gotta run. And running to go try and help. Exactly. But sometimes you gotta run. And Tika's gonna turn and take offline. Welp. Welp. Uh, she's totally gonna Boop. get punched. Uh, <laughs> just Tika? Um, <laughs> oh, only if Mavard can lie better than Tika. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't say much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Tika, give me a constitution. Constitution check, not a save. A con check? Okay. You've been traveling all day, had a battle. Oh, yeah, that is true. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how far you get. <laughs> eh, above average, 15. Okay, so you travel for about three hours flying. Um, you basically get out to... I'm guessing you're going in a more or less direct line. Or as close as you can guess, because this is the desert and it's really hard to tell. At least you've got the stars to guide you. Yes, there are stars. I do a lot of traveling. Um, so you travel for three hours. You basically leave the area that you had reached uh, about uh, midday. Uh, basically the edge of the... Um, canyon area where the um, the mountains mm -hmm. are starting. So you're in flat ground desert. Uh, desert yeah. Sandy desert, basically. Yep, Tika is dumb, guys. I am well aware of this. I've been dreading this for a week. <laughs> Before exhaustion hits you and it's like, I want to keep flying, but if I don't rest, this is going to be bad. Yeah. I'm literally going to fall out of sky. Yeah. Yeah. Um you don't really know the desert, so you're just going as as, as straight as the bird flies. So you get uh I mean luckily I also have pretty damn good uh flight speed. I am so sorry guys. You get that far. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> And I can't really motion, but like, yeah, because you only went for like three hours, so but you're yeah. flying, so it's pretty fast. Uh, so you you basically covered more or less what like half a day would have been traveling with the others in the three mm -hmm. hours. And then you're so you're about half half a day away from the rest. Yep. 
pods, guys. I am so sorry. <laughs> All right. So that done, Mavar, you go back to your tent and try to sleep with all the excitement that has happened this evening. Uh, might take a while before you actually fall asleep, you know, especially since you're probably waiting for the sound of Rava and Nolly to come back. How restless are you being, Mavar? Like, when I get back or what? That, I mean, how much noise are you making as you settle in? Uh, are the wives back yet? Nope. Actually, I probably wouldn't be able to tell if the wives are back yet. So, And you guys were probably outside the tent pretty close yeah, by. Yeah, I mean, so. they're probably going to be out for like a couple hours. And oh, yeah. Hopefully, but it's so, not like... so, so the people go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's not like he was trying to make sure no one got past them. Uh, and maybe there was another entrance to this tent that's all secretive if he actually lived in it. Hmm. So he's going to assume that the wives are back, and if he gets caught out, they're go both going to kill him. <laughs> so best sneak my fishy ass back inside <laughs> so they don't notice. All right. Uh, roll a... Yeah. Da -na 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 -na. I'm pretty sure that's high enough for the others who are sleeping to not notice, and uh, the other two aren't back, so you manage to settle into your bedroll and probably have a lot going through your mind as you fall asleep. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad that uh, when I poked at the orb, nothing <laughs> happened in mm -hmm. the future or the present. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so um, switching over to Rava, I think uh, just to keep this at least mildly safe for work, uh, we're not going to go into detail with everything that happened between the two. Uh, but Nali did have something she wanted to talk to you about. Yes. Um, now, I may be remembering this incorrectly, but I believe you told me that Nali's family... Um, had some kind of specialty to them uh yes yeah so nolly's background um is that she's actually from uh pretty far from where rava's clan lives um her clan uh is made up of two different um lineages uh one of which are engineers and one of which is uh nolly's lineage which is the priest class yeah, so she has a priest uh, people in her family. Yep. How much of that do you think Nolly has? Like, basic training, maybe? Did she get far in that? Um, she So she basically got training up until about 17, so... She's definitely not, like, ranking up there, but she's pretty well trained by this point. Mm-hmm. Okay. After you guys spend some time cuddling and reconnecting, because it's been a while, it's been at least two or three yeah. weeks, maybe, a, yeah, closer to a month, I'd say, by now, since you had left. Um, Nelly slowly brings a topic back to the baby that you two are going to have. Oh, that's so excited. She is there's, so excited. There's something... There's another reason why my family wants to protect me more. Um, apparently they've had some visions... Oh. And they're convinced that somehow our baby will have impact, will be of importance to all the Gerudo people when she grows up. 
Rava, they've, they've kind of been sitting side by side, and she draws her knees up and kind of puts her chin on them. And she's like, I, I see. They're calling her a queen. You, you cut out. Um, what did you uh, say, Carter? Sorry, a queen. Uh, a queen by. She's. <laughs> that's a lot of. That's. That's a lot to put on a baby that's not yet born. I know. I I tried to make them see that, but the problem is if Ganondorf finds out, he'll stop at nothing to make sure our baby's not born. Uh. <laughs> wow. This is, um... You... You know me. I I didn't want this. I wanted I wanted to live a quiet life with you out in the desert. Why? I I know. Why does the world keep on asking more? <laughs> I I wish this wasn't true, but you're the mother and apparently you have a shard of the hero's soul and it could be they might be wrong you know prophecies aren't never that specific but if it is true if there's even a chance it's true then there will be others who will believe it Rava takes her hand and says, the, the most important thing for now is that you're safe. And yes. the rest the rest, I suppose, we'll just we'll just have to see. I just knew you had to know. Yeah. I'll go with my family and they'll do my their best to protect me. From the Yiga, from anyone who Ganondorf might send. And I suppose the one way to make sure that he's that she's safe forever is if Ganondorf is gone. And Rava just sighs and says <laughs> you would not believe how uncomfortable it's been every time the others bring up Ganondorf what he's done what he's doing yes it's <sighs> we're his people but that doesn't mean we have to endorse him and if he's going to be a threat to our child then I don't care if he's our king. Well, he's certainly never been much of one. Yeah, that's true. She kind of barely gestures over out, uh, out over the desert and says, whatever promises he had for us, he never delivered on them. No, if anything, he's <laughs> just been... He's just God. been tightening his grip on us and trying to make all of Oscarudo fund his army in Hyrule. For what good that's been. <laughs> that's true, it is Ken. His his tax policies are rubbish. Um It's Oh, I may not like him, but the talk of having to dethrone him, oh, that's, 
and she just looks very uncomfortable. Like Nelly kind of grabs you and looks you in the eye and says, "It's not just dethroning. You realize." Yeah. Yeah. If, I... if he has demise within him, then you need to finish him off. The the temple gave us a sword. It's not exactly being subtle. Well, sword. <laughs> kind of. Um, um, well, you know how the legends go. It, if you're the hero, then there's only one path to take. But I want you back afterwards. Rafa says, of course. Of course. I... And she says very frustratedly, I wish he had been the king that we wanted him to be. I wish I didn't need to do this. Yeah, me too. I think we all did, and that's why we turned a blind eye. But, but um, Rava kisses her forehead and says, I will do everything that is required to make sure that you are safe and you are well and that our child is able to grow up safe and well and happy. I know you will. And we're going to fade to black on that scene. <laughs> because they're they're asleep, right? That's why. Yeah, sure. They're that's totally sleeping. <gasps> Just sleeping. Mosaic hand holding. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's so... definitely there's definitely a point when like Rava kisses her belly and it's very cute. Dude. <laughs> Eventually, so our... they go back to the 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 tent, probably near morning. So our next campaign is going to be uh, taking up the twin queens. Is that what's going to happen? <laughs> oh That's... no! As if Nolly and Rava would ever have a like an evil child. No. You never no. know. <laughs> Garm, you did not. What? Oh shit, you're right. Garm. What? Warframe was not what I was going for. That's not what I was going for. <laughs> Wait, what? Never mind. What? Okay. Later. Okay. I think uh, on getting back to the tent, I'll just see whether Rava notices. The Tika is missing. Oh yeah, sure. Give me a perception check as you guys sneak no. into the. Wow! You know, you've had nope. a really long night with barely any sleep. Um, you're really tired. God yep. be damned, people! Please. Uh, ha. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. give me a, give me a stealth check. I almost want to say with disadvantage because you guys are probably giggling as you walk in, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> We're not being super stoned. Oh here, my though. god, that's an eleven. <laughs> that that doesn't beat my passive perception. Nor does it beat mine. <clears throat> All right. Shit. You wake so up. So no one wakes up. Um, no, no, no. It oh. doesn't beat my passive perception. Beat. Right. Mine's okay, better sorry. than that. Yeah, yes. but we're asleep. Do we notice? Uh, passive perception works if you're asleep. You're not, uh, you're not necessarily, um, awake, but you, you probably hear some rustling and light and sleeper night, light noises, uh, while you're, you're, cause you're kind of like in that period, like you, you, you know, you should be waking up soon, but you don't want to. Yeah. So the question is, how much do I care? Uh, I don't know what I'd have rolled to Does see. Does Lavar immediately perk up like a meerkat? I was gonna say you might want Constitution uh, show based on how sleepy are you. I guess. Um, oh, I'm not at disadvantage. I don't know why I had that there. I don't either because you could just toggle it off. <laughs> yeah, I know. I did toggle it off <laughs> after that. But um, shit, that's an 18. Sorry, Pi, you were talking. So I gotta. Am I a sleepy fishy? 
No. Oh, also, not no. when it comes to those two. <laughs> oh god. Salt oh, my salt opera actresses are back. <laughs> Mavar the meerkat appears. Mm. No, he, he still looks asleep. But the fins, they be a twitching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get reception here, people. <laughs> Yeah, Zeb is probably close to waking up anyway, because, oh god, he does do morning exercises. Yep. Shit. Does he do the whole... <laughs> while grabbing all of his stuff? Um, He probably is slowly starting to get up, and his cap has been knocked off, and his hair, he has the worst bedhead ever. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, the... Beautiful. The... It, as soon as he sees the two of them, his eyes kind of blink, blink, grabs his hat, shoves it on his head. <laughs> like, you didn't see nothing. You just hear vague uh, burbles of Snickers. <laughs> you're trying to pretend you're asleep, aren't you? I didn't say it was trying very hard. Besides, you noticing is near is way safer than the two Damn. of them noticing. <laughs> yeah, Zed probably briefly considers outing you just out of spite, but meh. Oh shit. Garu, are the roots showing? <laughs> probably. So the hat is jammed on even, <laughs> even freaking, <laughs> oh god. So you gather your stuff and go out to do your morning mm -hmm. drills. Yeah, and I kind of am, shit. As I do them, I'm probably trying to side-eye to see if I can spot Rava, because she usually gets up, or not Rava, uh, Tika, because she usually gets up around the same time. Okay. Uh, did Tika leave anything in the tent? Nope. Nope. Nothing. Hmm. Are there any feathers? Anything? Uh, she might have dropped a couple feathers. She was nervous, and you know, birds Fiji. molt when they're nervous. Yep. Yep. Oh. Because uh, after I stop pretending to be asleep, he'd be like, "Okay, did Tika drop anything?" Like leave uh, stuff for warm city blah 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 yeah the Zed the only thing you see is basically the nest that was made by Rava the night before that doesn't look slept though oh, that shit. doesn't look pristine slept. yeah hasn't been touched yeah I'm gonna pause and stare at it kind of uh, I want every single fucking feather she left. <laughs> um, are you trying to do that like right now? Because I'm looking. Was and that you're... okay? Wait, uh, Mavar, did you do that last night or now in the morning while Zed is looking um, about? With that wisdom roll, probably. My God, when would it be smarter? Smarter when I... nobody's awake. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you, you gathered up all her feathers the night before and stuffed, yep. stashed them away. Stick so, them in a bottle. So Zed, all you see is a fish who's trying not too hard to appear <laughs> to still be asleep and uh, an empty bed that hasn't been slept in. And there's no trace of like Tika's equipment. Ah, oh. That's concerning I'm a exit the tent and kind of give a glance around to see if she decided to sleep outside or see if there was any indication that she was anywhere like you know little uh birdie footprints before flying away okay give me an investigation check this will go great Yeah, I'm so thought glad so. I didn't leave any thought so yeah it's it is sandy but it's more rocky here and there's enough wind during the night that any mm -hmm. traces of footprints mm -hmm. are, are pretty much gone or 
Yeah. Which is critters because if she had still been around this morning, she, it wouldn't have been that. Uh, hmm. So, Zed is going to poke his head back into the tent because I'm presuming that Rava and Nali aren't yet asleep. They're pretty damn close. They're snuggling and napping right now. Yeah, they were probably pretty tired as it was, so they yeah. probably just went straight to bed. Yeah. Well, <laughs> at this point, Zed's getting more and more concerned. Actually, let me see exactly how concerned he is. Oh, shit. Hmm. Do I fake that I don't know where she went? Or do I fess up, though? Is that it? What is the less dangerous option for Mavar in the long run? Considering it's less very dangerous like... is fess up, I think. Yeah, Sorry, because con considering if uh, Zed finds out that you lied to him later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 we're gonna fess up. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted over a 10, damn it. <laughs> This is a bad idea. <laughs> yep. So Zed is going to kind of poke his head in, look around. Well, the leopards, you'd feel bad. You'd feel bad waking them up after they <laughs> started to doze. So he's just going to go over and nudge Mavar with his boot. Psst. Hey, I know you're out of sleep. <laughs> Come on. Love, 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 love. Nudge a little Boys harder. Up. What do you want? Tika's nest hasn't been slept in, and it doesn't look like she's outside either. Oh, she's outside. She's just not outside here. I'm sorry, what? Oh, look. It's morning. I bet it visits the little fishy's room. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Zed's going You know, outside, where we won't wake the, the lovebirds. Zed's just going to give him a flat look, but be like, fine. <laughs> turn around, arms crossed, and just like start kind of scooting outside. So to we're, we're gonna visit the uh <laughs> You're a rock. You sleep like a rock. We take it for granted. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> really? For granted, you say. Oh for granted. <laughs> pointed out in the past that he sleeps like a rock. He does. Because mm -hmm. he is a rock. <laughs> yep. Alright, let's get rolling. <sighs> so, it's terrible. Uh, Mavar's actually going to take Zedrin to where the, quote, little fishy's room was last night where he talked to Tika. Oh. All the better to point with, if nothing else. Mm-hmm. So, you know how she was super eager to say that, oh, ha, none of this happened. Look, your your wife is fine. Mm hmm Why yeah. do you think that is? Uh, oh. Uh. So. Fuck. So. She said that there was a story about some place that used to exist but doesn't exist anymore because when Ganon trashed the Rito village, that was the last village they ever had. And I think she either saw something that was going to bad that was going to happen to her family or that that one bird fink oh. either way she said it would take a month to get there but it would probably take two weeks for her not because flying yes because flying she has Kathy and she, if she needs the heels because you know 
you're the healer. Mm -hmm. And she said that where she was going was cold. And what do you know about Lionels? They don't really swim well, and that's all I, I know. I'm sorry, what? Uh, and he makes this face with like fins close to his head going no, no, I, I, know what they, I know what they are what does that have to do with she said something about have to save what if didn't work but then disappeared Lionel and poof, poof. so was a Lionel other than Arr, I can't swim. Terrifying. But I mean, yeah. she, do they? Wait, where does she say are they she... wild or do they work for Ganon? Like, oh no 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 no. They, they, yeah, Ganon. Everything I say, just about. Wait, you heal. You, you would have noticed at least. How hurt was she when she came back? Uh, Karu. I don't remember. She was super hurt when she came back, was she not? Yeah, I think she had like four health or something. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah, I, I, she sure was in single a, digits. I'm pretty okay. sure I blew a ton of stamina on her as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that... I have yeah, a uh, feeling that may be why. At this point, Zed... Oh, God. Zed, what are you gonna... Oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it, Zed. Said, do it. Do it, Zed, yeah. do it. Zed is gonna grab uh, <laughs> Mavar by the scruff or the, <laughs> the front of and pull him down. Where did she say she was going? What direction? She said it was cold in the mountains. Did she? I bet she didn't really. She couldn't tell us where it was because we'd be walking there anyway. It's not like she could tell us go straight at the gigantic tree that you can see the top of. Yeah, but did she... I so suspect it's... that it is the largest settlement left. So, like, what? Three nests? <sighs> well, uh, I would say Zed does know that per Ganon laws, there can be no more than five Rito in a settlement. So this is probably one of the trade hubs, five Rito, one of the elders. Like, this is clearly what uh, Mavar is trying to convince him of. <laughs> but, wait, would Mavar try and convince him that there's not actually a... He would try and convince Zed that this was a big deal place, but it was clearly not a village, because villages don't exist. And if Fink can turn, what about Zed? Excuse me? Well, okay, there's a reason she didn't tell your ass. She didn't tell him because he didn't notice she was leaving. <laughs> yep. Sheesh. Yep. Well, so she said cold and high. Karu, what little itty bitty bits about Rito do I know? I mean, she likes really high places and really cold places. So mountains, clearly. Mm -hmm. Elden would not be cold, even if it was high. Correct? The Elden mountain. Uh, the, even depends if on, it was hot. Depends on how close you are to the volcanoes. Mm -hmm. Um, you would know that the Rito, the original Rito village, was to the north of the Hebra mountain range. Um, okay. not in the mountains itself. It was at the base. Uh huh. Uh, However. But that one was destroyed ten years ago. Yeah, well, however, if it was some place that they wanted to hide, they'd have to make it a place where other people couldn't get to easily, right? Right. So the story goes that the Rito were basically wiped out and that any ones that weren't killed were made into slaves by uh, Ganondorf to be used as mainly to keep up the the uh, communication lines around Hyrule, because that's basically how it's always been. Um, but they were given restrictions so that they couldn't um, they can't assemble so that they can't really 
you know, form a group of, yeah. Um, the, the only concentrations of Rito that are known to people are basically the, uh, under, uh, Ganondorf rule. What would I know through my Shika connections? Uh, through your Shika connections, you would probably know that there are Shika that try to help where they can, uh, to support the Rito. Mm -hmm. Um, there are a few Rito at, at some of the Shika villages, like, that's probably one of the only places you can find more than five Rito at a time. Hmm. Because, and we're talking about like the secret Sheikah camps, because obviously those are secret from Ganondorf followers as well, so they'd yep. be safe to, to yep. gather there. Mm -hmm. um, but you don't know of any like Rito village kind of thing. Just Would I know of any of those secret camps that would be near any of the mountains? Like, um, perhaps. you probably don't know the location of many places because that's just yeah, how well, the Sheikah work. You probably know a couple of near Hyrule City because those are the ones that you've gone to. Uh, it's basically need to know basis. You probably know that there probably are uh, all over the place, but you don't know where they are. Would I know any people from the ones that I do know of that might be able to tell me? More I mean, generally, thing. if if you had to go somewhere, you could just like come up to one of the camps you do know, or contact some other Sheikah to get a message across, and then be then get into contact with someone who could lead the way. Yeah, because Zed is already like, hmm, yeah, I, I don't like this, and we're moving that way. Even if we have to, uh, even if we have to go closer to Hyrule City, this is gonna be such a bad idea. Such a bad idea. <laughs> Such. I mean, they're not, like, at Hyrule City. They sh they wouldn't be that close to it. But, fuck. Such a bad idea. And, I'm not gonna lie, Zed also might be considering doing it because he's concerned about the girl that he saved and then poofed on. Show, show don't whisper. I have Sorry. no idea what you said for the second half Sorry. of that. Zed also might be concerned about the girl he saved and then poofed on. Because if if it was real with the Garuda wife, and if it was real on the Ritos, then fuck. What, no one wants to know if mine was real? But I don't know what yours is. Yeah, it, it was didn't actually totally give real. Yeah, he... Mavar does not seem concerned that Tika left because hers was real and uh, Rava's was real and Zed gave them this story about this girl that he went poof on and she might be dead now and No, she she probably was able to get back into the forest. But, like, Mavar just doesn't seem as concerned as he would be if you know, maybe the thing that happened to me happened in... Oh god, I just thought to myself, if you die there, you die in real life. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of how things work. Anyway, but yeah, Zed is going to look at uh, Mavar and be like, well, I guess we've got to start making our way that way. I don't quite know that where that way is, but I could probably... Go somewhere that we could find out. I was going to say, I think I know where to get more information if we get to somewhere. Oh. Uh, more trustworthy. Zed's going to raise both his eyebrows and tilt his head to one side to try and get Mavar to continue. Well, just because Nolly is on our side doesn't mean Nolly's family is on our side, right? Mm. So, if she let something slip, who knows who would take it and run with it and I mean... lead to many assassinations and an attempt at a coup, or maybe not, and crush the resistance and 
than all all of the the work of you. Wait, no, no, that was that one already finished, didn't it? So I really should have watched that finale again. So we tell Nelly one thing, and then after we leave, we actually do something else. Maybe. If we I don't know. Tell Nelly anything. Yeah, basically. <sighs> Either way, I want out of the desert. Mm, me too. God, chainmail chafes in places you won't believe. Uh. Uh... <laughs> and then Zed's just gonna kind of turn and how? But woo, how does that even? <laughs> but you don't. Apparently, chainmail chafes in places I didn't know you had. <laughs> and Mavar just sort of wanders off, going, "But that's not." Mm. Yes, it's definitely not Tumblr friendly. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> scritch, scritch, scritch. That's why you wear a t-shirt underneath. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah. We'll wander back, go get breakfast. Maybe Dargo won't notice that. Oh god. <laughs> I really Oh god. Uh Zed? Zed, do you remember the last time Tika went missing? What happened to Dargo? Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, we, we're we going to tell him that she went scouting ahead a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good because uh, she, she wanted to be now. up high in the air. You're yes. going to lie to Dargo, the sad puppy of the group. You're not there, Dargo. Now. We can't actually we can't actually say it here anyway, so you know. We'll we'll tell him later, but we can't have him be yeah. reckless because then oh my god he'd be reckless. Oh. Exactly. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Take so up. No, I'm out. the worst buddy dust, ever. Dust cloud behind him as he goes rolling down the countryside. <laughs> You're going the wrong way. <laughs> Dargo, that's what. Sploosh. Um... <laughs> 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 I like how Garm can't really contest this because. <laughs> I know! <laughs> it's not the first time it's happened, okay? <laughs> it won't be the last either. <sighs> <sighs> well, okay. So I guess we're back at the tent eventually. <laughs> Alright, so the rest of you wake up. Nolly makes you breakfast. It's probably yummy. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. If there's any tea served, I deliberately do not drink it. Oh god, I'm awake. <laughs> yes, you are awake. Oh my god. Hey, breakfast. Hey, where's Tika? Tika? It's breakfast. No. She's fine. She just had to use the little birdie's room. Oh, okay. She wanted to be up high again. Something about ground and can only see like 30 talons or something. Wow, that's really disconcerting in combination with the little birdie's room. <laughs> especially the since world it was, is her birdie's room. <laughs> especially since it was followed up with she wanted to be high in the air. <laughs> Yeah, why don't you two give me deception rolls? Oh, Bob. Conflicting stories much? <laughs> oh my. Just, can we just use the two of our rolls together? Okay, so, no, but the point is, like, Mavar's just like, oh yeah, she went to the, to the birdie's room, so so the first thing is like, oh yeah, so she went to the bathroom, basically, and then Zed goes like, yeah, she wanted to be really high up, and uh, it's that's like... That's the other way around. I said the birdie's room. Yep. Oh, you said the, the birdie's no, word, room, and, and then Mavar goes like, oh yeah, she wanted to be up high, and... Like, these are conflicting stories. Rava puts down her plate and says, Zed? Yes. 
Where is Tika? I don't like how they question you. <laughs> He's the one who cracked. She had to use the birdies room. Now she can do both. Doesn't take you that long. Okay. Really? <laughs> I, I will say, you're not sure you believe him. Just because he slipped the first time and there's still a conflict of stories here. So, like, they're definitely hiding something, but... Yeah, but uh, the answer does not come to me, so I'm just gonna at least... Let it go for now. We out breakfast for now. Well, I hope All she's right. back soon. Trade a look with Mavar. Oh, what? Great. I'm just drinking tea. I absentmindedly reach for the tea, take one sip, and my face goes like... <laughs> like <laughs> right, I don't like tea. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I'm gonna keep drinking tea. Fuck y'all. It's good too. <laughs> well, the only other thing they have for breakfast is goat's milk. It's fresh. With butter? I mean, butter? Tea with, with butter. No, 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 no. I don't. Sorry, Pi, you're cutting out. Tea with huh. butter is what Pi said. Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> huh. I mean, Zed, oh god, Zed will probably properly take the book's milk. Don't put your, uh, put your Sorry. hand in front of your mouth. Yes, yes, yes. Zed will take the goat's milk instead. Yum yum, full of protein and fat and stuff. <laughs> what the hell am I going to do with my flight speed of 25? <laughs> yeah, also, good lord, I, I, I don't think she has, like, water or provisions. Listen, that seems like a Tika problem. <laughs> that is that is in fact. She made very sure she had problems. all her supplies, guys. She has traveled a shit ton before. Okay. Yeah, but does she know how to get to an oasis? Hopefully she's... she'll fly out before she figures that out. Before she has to figure that out. Uh actually Rob is gonna ask, so which which temple do you think we'll do next? Well, we still don't know how to breathe underwater, so I say probably not the water temple. Yeah. And yeah. I'm kind of sick of melting. So no I'm fire temple? You a crisp. So no fire temple either? Okay, so that leaves what? Well, the... unless we can, like, solve that. Well, do you really want to be burnt to a crisp? Because it's not like you're going to do much better than me. I'll probably do worse. I'll bake. It's really nice there. You might like it. Right, so not the fire I temple. Wear, I wear metal armor. Metal. Zed wears a frying small little frying pans attached to each other. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you piece of shit! What? What I do? You just chainmail bikini, Zed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think uh, Pi was talking about the links in the chainmail being like tiny. No, I was talking about. Well, maybe Dargo doesn't understand that metal gets hot, but oh, like cooking oh. utensils get hot, and if you're wearing a bunch of cooking utensils, <laughs> then you're also going to get hot and cooked. Yeah, I think Dargo gets how heating metal works. Uh, I just don't <laughs> think he realizes that that may be uncomfortable for you people who are made of meat. Oh. Yeah. Mean meat that you cook? Hey, so... Over open fires? They yeah. eat stones. Yeah, they <laughs> eat stones, dude. Yeah, but they still cook for other people. They cook stones over open fires. 
It's a thing they do. There was totally do. a thing in the Goron City where they were making baked apples and you could chuck random things on the stupid pot. I mean, yeah. Take that. Haha. <laughs> I mean, they know what tourism is. <laughs> Probably they haven't did. gotten much of that in like ten years, but so uh, Tika's not well, back yet, huh? Rava pokes her head out of the tent and like looks around. Yeah. Hmm. Hope she comes back soon. Her food's gonna get cold. Or. Warm. Um, Rava says she was pretty distressed yesterday. Hold on, I'll I'll go look for her. Um, and she's Mavar. gonna. Do... She's Maybe gonna... she can help. <sighs> and I'm uh... making eyes at Mavar like go up there, explain to her. What you don't want to? Ha- oh right, <laughs> chainmail, fake. You do you want to explain to Dargo then why people wearing metal? Shouldn't go and walk into an oven. Yeah, uh, okay. Because So you have fun with that. Mm. See, you could have followed. Nope. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and Mavar just walks off before Zen can change his mind. <laughs> Alright, so Rava, you look around. You know the area a bit better. Um a bit. Just a bit. There is definitely no signs of Tika around. You don't know where she's gone, because similarly to earlier's check, I mean, you kind of can tell where people have been walking around, but it's kind of hard to tell long term. But there is definitely no Tika in the sky and no Tika in like the areas that would give enough cover to go to the bathroom. Hmm. Did Mavar end up following me out? Yep. Sorry, yep. Yeah. And Rava's like, she's not she's not here, where'd she go? Wandering wandering isn't safe. Where <sighs> uh did Nolly follow you? Uh, I, I don't, I wouldn't think she would have. Who's shuffling? Um, no, she probably stayed inside. Okay. So. <laughs> figured it out, huh? Rava. Figured, figured what out? Where is she? Well, she can fly a lot farther than we can walk or see, so I suspect she's pretty far by this point. <coughs> what? Yep. What? Mavart, where'd she go? So, why did we rush back to uh, y- your home after we got done with the temple? He's because. just super nonchalant, just asking questions, chilling. Um, or is this because Nolly was in trouble? Last I saw. Uh huh. And, and how'd you know that? The temple showed it to. Where, where did her vision take her? <laughs> <clears throat> Something about lots of Rito. That's not an answer. And Cold there aren't... place in the mountains. Really high up. Past that, I don't know. She gave some directions about go north at the really, 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 really big tree. That's not terribly why... helpful. Lavar, why didn't you stop her? We can't. Uh, what am I gonna do a... with my twenty-five fly speed? Talk to her. Use your words. I did that, and then she flew off. 
she's really fast. Bravo, like, like has like his big like like Terry hair motion, and she goes back to the tent and says, um, "Apparently, we eat a lot faster than I thought." <laughs> well, catch up with the bag. Well, mm-hmm. I was gonna say you come back in, and Zed had somehow managed to procure a little hunk of goat cheese and a <laughs> tiny frying pan. <laughs> He's currently trying to explain the armor. Okay, this is me. This is my armor. And then put it over the open flame. This is what happens to me in my armor when we go near a volcano. Oh, I see. <laughs> you get tasty and bubbly. <laughs> and burnt. This is amazing. This could be bad. I, I was going to... If she had eggs, I was going to be like, this is a helion. This is armor. This is a helion in armor on a volcano. Any questions? <laughs> Thank you! Oh, Look down, no. back up. <laughs> <Alien is gone. laughs> so you go into some heat, and then your dog tells you wish that it wishes that you'd stop doing drugs. I got you. I mean... <laughs> oh, God. Thank you for getting that reference. <laughs> You're welcome. Y'all precious. <laughs> I also managed to get that reference, although it is before my time. I think it's before my time and the wrong country, so... <laughs> no, it's not quite anyway. before your time. Anyway. Anyway. Um. Any whip. Anyway. Any whip. <laughs> Ra is actually, like, she's starting, she's starting to pack up stuff and is like, I wish she would have talked to me. I wanted to, ah. Uh. You wish who would have talked to you? Yeah. Let's... You would not have talked all last night? Yes, we did. I mean Tika. What? Really? I thought... Wait, where's Tika? I'm not sure, but as far as I know, she's not coming back, so I guess we have to go after her. Oh, jeez, she, she, she ran away? <laughs> I really am the worst buddy ever. <laughs> oh, no. No. I am so was she kidnapped? No. No. She left willingly? You're right, she may have been coerced. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Somehow that makes oh it better. <laughs> Dargo. Uh, and Rabba just kind of stops in the middle of her packing and just like sits down and it's like she moves so much faster than us and she's had a night already. I don't even know which direction she's going. Well I mean We said... were gonna go get more information. Yep, yep, yep. And okay. directions. Uh-huh. And the goats. Wait, what? Goat? Y- you oh, know oh, about the goats! I know about the goats, but those aren't that important now. Besides, they probably already sold them again. <laughs> Am I wrong? My goats! Not anymore. They got my goats! They got your goats! <laughs> 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 oh god. Ow, my sides. Yeah, we need to find Tika as fast as we can. I hope she's okay. Oh my god. Aww. That's probably gonna take out a hand. I'm so sorry. And then look at Darko and give it to him. Here, you you can keep this. Blow your nose. (laughs) Do I have it? I guess I do have a nose. You do. So what are you guys planning? Well... Actually, who's the smartest of the group? Not me. Uh, oh, we're fucked. No, actually. Um, Mavar, what is uh, your intelligence? Uh, 12? And Rava Rava. has an intelligence of 13. Oh, shit. I'm My wisdom, 16? 
save. I'm the smartest. Intelligence and wisdom are both 15. Okay, wisdom would probably work as well, so... 16. <laughs> Said... Lava and, uh... Um, considering knowledge that you might have before, I would say Zed and Mavar give me either an intelligence or a wisdom check. Ooh. 17. <clears throat> okay. Zed, you realize that while she had a head start on you, she was flying after a full day of travel. She probably didn't get very far. And she's probably and, pooped. And she probably had to have, she probably had to stop to get, like, some sleep before she could continue. Mm -hmm. Would I be able to tell kind of which direction it would be towards the mountain-ish stuff? I mean... No matter what route she's going to take, she needs to go northeast. Okay. So I'm going to relate to the rest. Well, she probably couldn't get too far last night. Because, I mean, let's face it, we just had a battle, we did a lot of traveling, and we were all kind of pooped. We rested, she didn't. Oh, yeah. Plus, she's got to head vaguely northeast. Everything is northeast. Yup. So, if we book it, we might be able to find her. Well, then, we should go right now. Yes, right now. Bravo looks so sad. <laughs> I'm sorry, pretty lady. We'll get your wife back to you soon. <laughs> sorry, wife, you, Bravo. Shrugs. I mean, you came back way sooner than you expected, right? Mm hmm Let's get moving. Dargo's already out the door. Yeah, <laughs> Zed is right behind him, because it's like... Thanks for the hospitality! Thank you for the tea! Tea call! <laughs> hey, hey, Dargo, here. <laughs> Hold this rope. And then go into, uh... Ball form. Let me just get on my shield. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. Surfing. Goron surfing. I guess I'll take the shamisen. <laughs> Lamisen. Thank you. I don't think oh. about what happens to the shamisen. <laughs> Apparently, you have a uh, Zora pick it up and follow you. <laughs> Sounds good. You can try playing it as we go. As you float. Well, it's not like Wait. I'm concentrating on not tripping. Oh True. my god. Hey, Pi. Uh-huh? Do you have a rope tied to Zed? So you can be pulled along as you're floating? Oh my god. <laughs> you could be my anchor! <laughs> oh my god. You guys are hilarious. Also, I have to ask, what's Dargo's roll speed? Yeah. Uh, I believe I can do, like, if I spend my full action, I can do, I think, 80 around. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, I like how everyone was like, oh yeah, Dargo's so slow, and I'm like, are you forgetting? <laughs> yeah. No, when I was not. I was just giving myself an excuse to give oh him a rope God, and shield yeah. surf. Yeah, when Dargo's walking, he's the slowest member of the party at 20, which I sometimes forget during battle, sorry. Um, but if I roll, I can achieve absolutely ludicrous speeds. I think I can outland speed Tika. Or no, not quite. Tika's max speed is like 120 now, right? Yeah, because... Definitely. Something stupid. Yeah, before that, I could out outspeed yeah. Tika. Uh, before that, Tika's was 100. Son of a bitch. Yeah, Hi. Tika is horrifyingly fast at flying. Regardless, let's go. Rob is probably going to take like 10 minutes to say goodbye and then is ready. Well, then they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Tika should Jesus prepared. fucking Christ, we're trying to get the party back together, not split it more. I hope Rob shows a up riding a goat or a seal. I don't think they have a seal. You definitely have goats. We Catch a wild seal. Just throw a pokeball <laughs> at it. 
Make sure you put a spin Thank on you, it. Thank you, Garm. You're welcome. Can we chain seals until we get a shiny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> Alright, so exactly, like, are you guys doing this ludicrous thing? Yes. Um, yes. Yes. You realize you are going to leave Rava behind. I thought she was also surfing. Ratika. Do you have two shields? Oh, God. Um... Are there shields around? I mean, we could always... You could always use, like, a basket. Rava, how dexterous are you? Very. Um, I'm a skirmisher. That doesn't even okay, remotely answer. a rogue. Okay. Uh, so you could stand on top of me and run backwards as Holy I... Holy shit! I have, I may have a dexterity of 18, but I'm terrified. Sorry, Theo? If you, if you guys catch up with Tika like this, she's gonna be so confused. <laughs> Tika, we have to improvise! I'm just hoping someone out there draws this situation because this is hilarious. I, I, I do think that Tika's gonna go for like a flat piece of like of wood instead of that. Yeah. Like, oh. You mean Rava? Congrats, everyone. Yes. This is the third time I've died this stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will say to begin with. Dargo's gonna have a hell of a hard time carrying all of you. Dargo, what's your weight capacity? Lots. <laughs> Dargo, uh, what's your the bar gonna be floating? 20. And getting pulled along? Oh so, yes, I'm not necessarily counting Mavara's weight because he's floating. Sorry, how do you... Rava's. How do I calculate let's... my carrying uh, capacity? I don't know how heavy Rava is. I believe it's... Strength like... times... Times five? Um... It's gotta be more. Wait, than isn't that. it no, your it's... weight times oh, your strength mod? Or no, something? no, no. Hold no, on. no. It has to be 15 times strength. Yeah, it's just strength. Uh, huh, drag Rob, Rob, is, can... Rob uh, is 260 pounds. Wow. Uh, you can push drag or lift and a weight in pounds up to twice your carrying capacity, and your carrying capacity is a strength score multiplied by 15, not 5. By 15. Okay, uh, yeah, I can so... hear somebody typing. Thank you. Uh, by 15, so that's 300? 300. Yeah, so my carry... So double that is your carry. So 600. Oh, sorry, not carry, but push, drag, lift. Yeah. Drag. 600. Yeah. Okay. Fuck all of you. Yeah, okay, you should actually... be fine. I mean, probably takes some time to get the momentum, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Luckily, you're uphill, so you have that downhill spiral... Uh, downhill to go um mm. you're you can so you can get some speed there you're still not gonna get the speeds you would acquire normally without dragging your whole party behind you <laughs> yeah but this is quicker than than walking yeah and you can probably maintain it for a lot longer because once you get started the hard part is going to be stopping not also i look rad as hell oh my god yeah, I'm looking forward to Dargo just oh, like God. suddenly slamming to a stop and everybody going flying. <laughs> How are we gonna steer? Except Mavar. No, Mavar it... just keeps floating. Yeah, no, including Nothing Mavar, to a wall. who just goes on floating forever with the momentum of all of that. Oh God! <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I'd like to point out that you are so so glad, or at least should be so glad, that you're not carrying Mavar's entire weight. Because my bar is a heavy nearly, boy. Which is nearly your entire drag speed, drag Lord. capacity. Yeah. All by himself. I mean, yeah, I am. That's why my bar was the big question yeah. there. Well, I am yeah, still Mavar's moving. 500. I am still moving Sorry. the entire mass of Mavar, right? You are, which means that starting it would be kind of heavy to start to begin with because you have to. Okay, so remove three stamina points. I got you. <laughs> uh, actually, I want you to roll me a constitution save. Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, hey, I would, I would be, like, 14? following as much. That was, um, uh, okay. Um, alright, so this works. That's the good part. Great. <laughs> uh, you will take, uh, an exhaustion point. What? An exhaustion point. 
Is that um, like stamina only negative? Nope, disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks, I think, or just ability checks. I don't know them by heart, so I'm looking it up. Uh, Alright, so yes, at level 1 of exhaustion, you get disadvantage on ability checks. Mm -hmm. So right. any check from now on, you have disadvantage on, until you manage to rest and basically get rid of the exhaustion. Okay. I will point out right now that at level 2, your speed is halved. Halved? Halved. Okay. Um, but yes, for now, you're at first level of exhaustion. Um, okay, so question, Tika. How long did you sleep? <laughs> um, she was fucking tired, and she knew she'd have to um, fly a long way, so she probably did honestly try and get a full night's like a full rest so like, like at least six hours yes like she she knew she'd have a lot of flying ahead of her so it's like okay i don't want to stop i have to stop i'm going to rest i'm not going to exhaust myself and do something absolutely stupid because this is already stupid enough <laughs> truth um... listen i as a player know this is stupid but i have to remain in character oh i know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where did you sleep? Just out in the open, curled up, trying to... I mean, honestly, she would have tried to... As she was flying, because she knew she wouldn't be able to fly for a ridiculously long time, she'd try and spot something that looked like a relatively safe place to sleep. So maybe a cluster of rocks or whatever. So... Exactly. Something that gave her some kind of shelter uh, and cover. <laughs> okay. All right, so you sleep for six, seven hours. You traveled for three. That's about ten hours that since you left the party. Mm -hmm. As you wake up, give me a perception check. <sighs> this is where Tika fucking sucks, guys. I'm looking forward to you finding that dust cloud. <laughs> I mean, it's either that or there's a Korok around her. Or you're getting stabbed to death by those Zolfos. Oh, wow. Um, I forgot I had DM Whisper on, but I, just so you guys know, I rolled a six. <laughs> Amazing. I turned off DM Whisper for future, but yeah, six. Okay. Well, you look around, and apparently there's more than one dust cloud, but you know, it's a desert, so you think nothing of anything, and... <laughs> Exactly. She's she has rocks protecting her right now. I'm just pointing it out, guys. Yeah. So you gather your things, eat something real quick because eating while flying is probably really not something you can do. And uh set off flying. Mhm. Mm right, so flying back again. to did anyone steer, uh, or at least tell Dargo in yeah. what direction How? to go? We, we How told, would we? Before he started rolling, we probably told him northeast. And then probably and pointed somebody pointed in that direction. Yes. You can steer a sand seal. We could steer a rolling rock. Yeah. You just yeah. put, you, know, you just need two, two ropes. Put so that... brains on it. <laughs> I mean, I've got two ropes. I mean, Mavar is one side, uh, Zed is the other. There's a lot of logistics here I'm just trying not to think about, honestly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. It's like, how is a roll? How do you put a, a rope around a rolling ball? I mean, we're not thinking about that. We're I, moving on with this discussion. I yes, curl please. up. Presumably, I'm holding it. Anyway. Let, let's, yeah. All right. Um, okay, so I'd say. Probably the best person to be lookout is honestly going to be Mavar, <laughs> who's probably a kite at this point because you've been going downhill <laughs> and he's probably like as high as the rope basically lets him <laughs> fly. Kite. This is great! Oh my god! <laughs> Someone needs to draw this. <laughs> Wait, I have fins. I have sails. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> You're flying! Why so never? How does it feel? Uh, as far as Mavar is concerned, he's swimming through air. <laughs> this is the greatest thing I've 
greatest thing of my life. <laughs> so that rope is gonna chafe. Holy crap. Anyways. I don't even care. <laughs> Mainly because you don't wear that much clothing to like In pad sleep. it. Wait. Yeah, pad it. I have scales. Anyway. Yeah. Oh god. You do. Uh, okay, so Mavar, give me a perception check. I'll give you advantage because you're high up. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, see my everything. God. I can see my house from I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So after about two hours of you guys just going on the craziest run ever. Um, you see a speck of blue in the distance take flight. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, DM. Yes. Uh, what would one roll to, to yell very, very loudly? Yeah. What? Uh, con? <laughs> Intimidate? Performance? <I'm> <laughs> All of those sound like a good I good I would say probably constitution. How long can you sustain the loud voice without fucking shit up? Without your yeah. voice cracking uh, and <laughs> um... so whose voice would crack? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who. God, yes. I would love I would love to intimidate because I would very much like to yell Tika land right now. Oh, oh, mom, Tika. <laughs> Mom's pissed. I okay, thought you were yelling at Dargo. I will. I will point out that Mavar is the one that spotted Tika. So Mavar, yeah. what are you doing? I found Tika. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, sure, Rava. Give me your check. Hell yeah. You're too far away. She Blow stamina that. points on it. Right. Blow stamina Do points. It. I want to try and yell at her. Cause how, how does me... one blow stamina point on this? <laughs> you convinced me it's worth it. But I did say it was a speck in the distance. I think you guys are way yeah. too far yet. Like, you, you've yeah. spotted her. It's, it's the desert. And to be fair, Mavar is high above. That's the only reason Mavar saw her at this distance. All right. Mavar, you guess it would probably like she's maybe an hour away from you guys dargo oh god dargo i found tika she's that way <sighs> you catch up to her how many stamina points do i need to go faster <laughs> can i blow some stamina you points to aid him oh god you're gonna get so many exhaustion points wait 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 hold on could i summon my spirit wolf to to oh, dog to sled pull? against yeah <laughs> Wait, what's the speed of the wolf? 80. <laughs> oh my god. That would actually... Wait, 80? No, no it's base speed. Is... Right, so it's... And your speed as a as a ball, Garm? 80. 80, okay. <laughs> so it would work. You'd have, like, at least have more, like, someone helping you with the weight. <laughs> but... Okay, no, actually that wouldn't work because you guys are already in motion. You yeah. uh, I could I could summon the spirit wolf further along. Yeah, but how do you get the spirit wolf? Like it doesn't have a rope or anything. Yeah. You have a stick with a rope on it. It has a mouth. <laughs> it does. It does. Oh my god, I love you guys so much right now. <laughs> okay, Garm, it'll take you I'll, I'll let you blow Oh my god, why am I doing this? <laughs> because it's funny. It's <laughs> so great. I, I will put, like, okay. Uh, let's call it four stamina points, and you will gain another point of exhaustion by the time you finish, like, whenever no, you stop. No, don't do it. Done. Uh, <laughs> okay. Was I supposed to stop Tika from leaving instead? <laughs> this is way better. Who are you I kidding? <laughs> I expected you to stop Tika from leaving. Never doubt my commitment to the cause. <laughs> or mine. And to I the mean, this system. Is, 
this yeah this is dargo who's already <laughs> lost tika once he does not want to lose tika again so as soon as you hear i saw tika you just like no there is no way she's leaving me behind okay so tika are, you're not flying at your full speed either because as much as you want to you do not want to i'm in a dumb. desert i'm not dumb yeah so i'd say like an hour after you take flight you notice because you're looking around you even though you can't you don't have the best perception you no. still want to keep track of what's going on below you and you start noticing that there's one particular sand cloud that seems to be following you and getting steadily closer uh... <laughs> Like, Tika slows down at this point and, like, flies just in the air, sustaining her height, and is like, what the heck is going Uh... Huh? Like, she's <laughs> trying to figure out what's going on here. Give me a perception check. Twelve. Okay. Do we get to shout at her yet? Yeah, can we? Um, you guys are still like half an hour away, but I got some you... powerful lungs. I'm in you... the air. <laughs> Don't know what it is. It looks very ridiculous. It doesn't look like anything you've ever seen before, and <laughs> it's definitely colorful. Like she's keeping high in the air at this point just for safety, but it's. She has this weird t tilt to her head and like she's <laughs> trying so hard to figure out what she's seeing and is like, should I be flying away? Should I go towards this? Should I just move to the side and let it go by? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? How how high are you flying? Um, God, I don't know. She, she wanted to be high enough that she mostly blend in with the sky if someone was on the ground. And wasn't paying too much attention. So maybe 60 feet in the air? Yeah. Okay. Oh God. That's probably a lot. Um, it's a bit cooler up there, too. Yeah. At least this early in the morning. <laughs> Later on in the day, it's probably going to be hot everywhere. Really? Yes. It's going to be hotter because hot air rises. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you're flying there, trying to figure out what's going on, and this thing is slowly getting close to you. Uh, those screaming, why don't you give me <laughs> constitution checks? <laughs> so Please! By the time they, she lands. <laughs> oh! Someone! Someone fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> well, I mean, 19 is good. Mavar probably can yell really loud underwater to get it to mm -hmm. carry as far as possible. <laughs> so he's probably just like, I just have to do that only louder. <laughs> God, just project this, your this voice. Yeah, basically. Falling a rolling rock, yelling very loudly. <laughs> uh, like, Kara, do I realize what's going on at this point? Also, what did Mavar yes. say? <laughs> I'm a flying fish. <laughs> Oh god! Like, since Mavar can probably see Tika the clearest, you see her drop like 10 feet because she forgot to fly for a second. <laughs> oh, I didn't know yeah. get you to notice. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm in the air. I need to fly. But she drops for a second. <laughs> and then she starts going down towards the ground, but not all the way because she's like, I don't know if they can stop. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> so she's, she flies down until she's like 15 feet above the ground because she still wants to be able to maneuver if need yeah. be. <laughs> and she's she starts carefully going. No, she's not going to go towards them because that might end badly. Oh, it will. She's it just, will. She's just watching as they get closer and is really, really confused as to how this is physically possible. <laughs> All right. So, Dargo, you're going faster than you ever thought a Gerudo could uh, Sorry, a Goron could go. I mean, honestly, everyone's you... going faster than they thought. How, how do you stop? Do you just, like, flop out of, uh, out of ball form? Yes. And... <laughs> 
this is gonna get flung so so far. <laughs> we uh -huh. are. Yeah. As soon as I get within talking distance of Tika. Well, you can't even necessarily see her, but you you are hearing all the shouts coming from behind you. And they're <laughs> yeah. like, Tika, Tika, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh, we're here? And then it's like, oh, no. Swap oh. out. And then I just Pro sprawl. Yeah. Yeah, you probably do he head over heels for a bit because that's how it works when you're going that fast. <laughs> you can't go from 100 miles per hour to zero. Yeah, sadly, I since I'm already using my hands, it's not like I can dig my warhammer into the ground to stop me or something. Yeah, uh, uh, so you're gonna take some skid damage there. I'm okay with that. Can I fly hey, in the opposite shit. direction? Uh, I'm taking twenty damage for that. Uh, yeah. I'm hold All on. right. I'm gonna use my reaction and half that. <laughs> You might All want right. to wait and see who else is going to be taking yeah, damage. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Dang it. Karu, I mean, can I fly opposite of where we were going so I don't at least drag. get chopped in half? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Wouldn't, that probably works to. Wouldn't that do the opposite of that if you suddenly started? Yeah. No, it because would. Cause, no, cause... you stop and I keep flying at eighty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Until Forward. the rope hits me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, I can do 50 in the other direction, so I'm only going forward 30 when the rope hits me. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you don't have time to figure out who's taking the most damage, but you do nope. know that um, Dargo's probably taking the brunt of it because he's, he's the one actually stopping. Doing the work! So are you having his damage? Yeah, I'm having his damage because that... Right. Okay. Forward. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Rava and Zed give me dexterity saving throws. Oh god, this is gonna be terrible. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Do a flip. Yep. Right. Nine for Zed. Yep. F. Saving Rip. throw. Oh great. Twenty-two for Rava. Alright, so Rava, you manage to notice what's happening in time, prepare yourself, and kind of just let go of the rope. And let the speed carry you on the on the piece of uh, wood you're on until it slows enough that you can hop off. Can I just point out that wood is probably amazingly polished on the bottom now? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> the shiny. I also feel like I might have gotten a few splinters. <laughs> probably. Uh, uh, Zed, you take twelve damage <laughs> as fine. you basically head over heels yourself. Squawk. Squawk. Ah. Uh... Uh, Mavar, you're going at 30. Okay. So that's... I mean, you could have just cut the rope. 46. You I'm not just... that smart. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm, give me a constitution save. Oh, oh this will go great. Oh, hey, that's one of my saves. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. 19. All right. The... So... Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you managed to, you know, fly backward and... And stop yourself enough that you probably have a bit of a rope burn, but that's it. Hork! <laughs> Swim in the air. <laughs> I probably am. And while like all the, the, like those bad cartoons. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tika's just like flying in one spot, watching all this. <laughs> yeah. Watch us all come to a stop. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. as the whole party tumbles to a stop in different positions. Karu, is my shield now a mirror shield? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you're going to be able to use that shield very much after this. Um, oh, his durability went down a lot. Yeah. yeah. But, oh. Uh, we're going to go on a quick break. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys so much. <laughs> oh, we couldn't just let you go. I love you all so much right now. <laughs> hey, what's up? We're back. Hi guys. All right, now that we have all laughed it out, um, <laughs> Tika, you have just seen your party do go to incredible lengths to reach you. Dargo is splayed out on the ground, looking pretty exhausted. To be fair, uh, reminder to uh, Garm, you are now have two levels of exhaustion. I take disadvantage on everything. 
and uh what are what are you what is your reaction chica very slowly comes to land and is just looking back and forth between all of them so damn confused right now and is like uh what did i just watch are you all okay what's going on I can fly. Hi, Mavar, and Tika just looks up at Mavar and waves. How are you gonna get down? Tika, you're okay. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I thought we lost you again, Tika. I thought it was the worst fight ever again, but I'm so <laughs> glad you're okay. Yes, Tika did land, and now she's kind of awkwardly looking at Dargo, unsure what to say. She keeps, like, Tika. opening her mouth to say something and then closing her mouth and trying again and, like... Why, why did you leave us? Uh, oh, uh, um... Are you okay, Dargo? Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just so glad you're okay and I'm not the worst buddy ever. I... No one thinks you're that, Dargo. I'm gonna stay up here where it's safe. <laughs> How is Mavar going to get down? Whatever do you mean? I can levitate. I can get back down. Sorry, show I didn't hear you. Uh, Zed is kind of started to wobble a bit as he got his balance back under him and is starting to slowly stumble towards Tika and Dargo looking mournfully at his shield, which is a lot thinner than it used to be. <laughs> yeah, Tika's just kind of awkwardly still trying to figure out what to say, and, like, she's just so confused. How's... And she's like, uh, Zed, are, are you okay? Also, Dargo's kind of hurt, and is really tired, and keeps crying, and I don't, um... Yeah, Zed's just gonna, like, Smoosh Tika's face into the sand. Don't leave us again like that. Squawk! <laughs> Tika! That was for making him cry. I, I'm definitely I, staying up here where it's safe. I, I didn't mean to make it and cry. Like, that, that wasn't my... How? What was that just now? It was us coming to get you. I... Don't... You... We get that you need to get there fast. Uh, Tika immediately is. looks from Mavar. <laughs> I said you were going somewhere cold and high up. Shrug. <sighs> high up, like me! Seriously, how is he going to get down? Eh, leave it to him. Okay. I like it up here. <laughs> it's safe, isn't it? How high up is Mavar? Mm, I don't know. How high up did you drag him? Actually, probably, yeah. How I long mean, was the rope? Yeah, you wouldn't have had too much slack on the rope, so maybe 15 feet. Okay. 15. Okay, that's not too bad then. You think you're safe. <laughs> I mean, the real okay, question safer is... safer than I would be down there. Did Mavar I... ever detach from the rope? Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't that rope tied to Zed? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And oh. Zed's, Zed's <laughs> carrying capacity is not much less than Dargo's. Wait, how much less than Dargo's is it? 560 pounds. Oh god. <laughs> That's only 10 pounds more than Mavar himself weighs without any of his gear. Whoops. Well. Well, there is tug, the point tug. that you don't really have anything to stop you because you're in the air. Oh, that's true. I can swim. I can yeah. ascend five feet upwards. But then you'd be trying to drag Zed up. And then it'd be a contested... Oh yes, it would definitely be a contested strength roll. Would it be at disadvantage since uh, Zed's on the ground and he's not? <laughs> Probably. Also. Not that you need it, because Zed is definitely stronger than Mavar. Uh -huh. Yeah, Zed, I think Zed is just kind of like reeling him in. No, he would still try. Oh, yes. 
probably looks hilarious. <laughs> this will be yes. funny because you can't get much worse than <laughs> at disadvantage. <laughs> oh my god, that was a seven. <laughs> Reeling him in. <laughs> so, <laughs> you see Mavar basically trying to swim upwards while I'm being spawning. inexorably pulled down. I would like to also try and smoosh Mavara's face into the sand. So Tika's kind of watching this and is kind of brushing off all the sand and trying to make sure it gets out all of, from all of her feathers and is like, um, why? I, I still don't get it. I. Zeb, maybe don't do that to Mavar. Um, how much did he? I. How did you? I. Mavar, come out out of the sand and then try talking. You're just gonna eat sand. <laughs> if someone would let me get. He's Tika just going to up... tap his fingers on the ground like, I'm <laughs> waiting. Yeah, that'll eventually like pop him out of the sand and just like let him go. Tika hands Mavar her water skin and is like, maybe get the sand out of your mouth. Patoop, 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 patoop. <laughs> I am not sorry. Last time I tell you anything and I spit the sand at you. Why did you all follow me with that crazy whatever you want to call that? Well, because you left us and we were worried about you. Because you we fly catch up very to you. fast, Rava said practically. And we're buddies. And he was going to cry the entire way otherwise. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys been weird um I'm sorry for making you cry Dargo but I it's okay I'm just glad that you're okay of course, oh. of course I'm Dark. okay I I I choose to laugh I, I, choose, I he cried more when we said that just don't go with it Dargo uh, you have a handkerchief use it Tika's not gonna lie about this, I but like my nose into the handkerchief. I chose to leave Tika. <gasps> Why? Why would you was I not a good enough buddy, Tika? <laughs> Dargo, it has nothing to do with that. It doesn't have anything to do with any of you guys. But, but the why? Because of what I saw in the temple. What did you see? Uh, Dargo, you probably know very well about the rules Rito have, right? Uh huh. What if I told you there totally isn't, but might be, but there totally isn't a, a place that doesn't follow those rules. You can see him counting off the negatives on one hand as you say that. <laughs> it totally doesn't exist, but if it existed, it would be really bad if it was found out, right? Uh-huh. I saw a place like that that doesn't exist, but Ganon's followers found out about it somehow being real, even though it isn't. And, uh... He's on to the second hand. <laughs> so, I saw that happening there, like, what happened ten years ago to my village. So the we to help them. I didn't hear what you said, Gar, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. So the we need to help them. They're very far away. I had really hoped that 
what I saw was just a test and that was it and it wasn't real and then bravo. And I want to get there as fast as possible and I can be really fast at flying. And I wasn't sure about you all knowing where it was. We still don't. It, exactly. <laughs> but if you all came to help with it, you would have to know where it is. And even though it doesn't really exist, um, if, 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 if it if, did, if it did, no one would be allowed to know about it. Because if anyone found out, like, a former priest of Ganondorf or a Gerudo who, you know, their king is Ganondorf, learned about it. <sighs> well, for one, they might get shot immediately when they got spotted, but um, there's just that chance that Hey, if I told Ganon, maybe I'd get rewarded. Tika. Rava looks incredibly annoyed and exasperated. We've already been to two temples. That doesn't change Do the fact. Do you think that Ganon would approve of that? Do you think he wouldn't kill us as soon as he found us? The more people who know about it, the more danger it's in, period. I'm not even supposed and to mention any of this out loud. Rava makes, like, a hand gesture across her body of, like, impatience. And she says, you endangered everybody when you left. We still have the rest of the temples to do. True. Yep. And if I take too long, what is left of my people can be in danger. I don't know if what I saw is real. And if it is, I disappeared in the middle of fighting a Lionel trying to lead it away. Lionel, either it was there or it wasn't by this point. The fact that it'll take us an extra two to traverse it on foot. Rava shakes her head. Also, I'd like to. Oh, wait, actually, out. she doesn't know how. I'd like to point out that it very well could be that it hasn't happened yet, or that it has happened over a week ago. Yeah, thanks. I really don't want to think about that, Zed. I really appreciate you bringing it up that it could have already happened, and I could or be... Or it couldn't it, have. I... It might not have happened yet. Just saying. Yeah, well, if everything I saw is real, and it has happened or it hasn't happened yet. Either way, it's my fault that it's happening. I'm sorry, why what? is it your fault that it's happening? Because mm. you didn't tell us that. Because someone had to show them where it was, and it was Fink who showed them where it was. Wait, what? Think was leading the Lionel. I don't know. I'm a fucking bald and deep fry him. I didn't send him to the village. I sent him to a waypoint that would take him there. Partially because mentioning the location out loud is too dangerous. And I don't know if he would have been sent there already. Or if he was on his way there. Or if he's still at the waypoint. I have no idea. 
though, to be honest, if what I saw is all real, Vink might be dead now, because I did shoot him. Good. Well, Only one arrow, though. The other two went to the Lionel. Well, only oh. thing we can do now is go. I say I was planning to tell you guys about this place at some point, just not yet. Because, uh, the air temple is there. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Well, I've always known where the air temple is. I've actually known for ten years where it is. Well, you brat. Totally haven't tried to sneak into it with friends in the past. Nope. Uh. Yeah. But I will say it's pretty far away. It, like, I, I'm not kidding. It's across the continent. Also, Rava, I am so sorry. You're going to have to deal with like a lot of cold and a lot of snow. Rava actually just shrugs and it's like, you're to our hearty. Keep that thought. I have relatives who live in the mountains. Of course, when she says mountains, they're actually like a lot smaller. Yeah, Tika's just looking at her <laughs> yeah. with this look of, uh, you have it's, no idea oh what no, the gets, mountains it are. Gets, it gets cold, it just doesn't get frigid. It gets down to like minus five there. <laughs> yeah, Tika has this look of, you have no fucking idea nope. what a mountain is and what cold is. <laughs> nope, but Gerudo like to pride themselves on being like on being able to take anything on being yeah. so rough and ready to go. Tika just turns her gaze to look at Mavara, who is probably the person she assumes knows the most about cold, because deep underwater it's fucking cold. And like she assumes that Mavara's the only one who's going to be able to easily tolerate the mountains. Look. At least it was still liquid down there. Yeah. I'm I mean, there'll be lots of liquid there. It's just going to be frozen. I'm really looking forward to uh, uh, Rava bitching about every single other temple. Yep. You mean, like, <laughs> oh, look, Rava's... This is cold. You don't know the meaning of cold! <laughs> it's too cold. It's too hot. It's too wet. <laughs> it's too deep. This is just right. Uh, yeah. Yep. And then whatever the fuck happens in Hyrule. <laughs> We're not gonna uh, think about that. No. It's too haunted. Oh, <laughs> That's Old Castle Town, thank you very much. And it's still too haunted? Bam. Oh, God. I mean, Lamar will enjoy that. It's the too overrun the with- The entire time, the, en the entire time, the complaint will be, it's too much adventure. I mean, yes. Yeah. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> oh, God. Um. Oh, God. So, there's two ways we can go there. One's a bit faster. Okay. But it would mean getting very close to Hyrule City. Oh, you see Zed flinch visibly. Yeah, Tika's not happy about it either. But hey, it's honesty time, so all right, here are two options. And the other one? Takes a lot longer, because we have to go through uh, Nekluda, uh, all of that territory, actually. And up into the Hebra territory. Ooh. Okay. So those are the two options. One's quick, and I'll admit I was planning to go the quick way, but that is flying there. So I can avoid the biggest areas and 
I mean, honestly, if a person sees read a single Rito flying in the sky up high, they just don't think about it too much. On the ground, we stick out like a sore thumb. Yep. Well, we're really honestly going to stick out no matter which way we go. And there might, actually, there might at least be a few safe places we could stop to camp so we wouldn't get ambushed if we went the quick way. <laughs> you see Tika give a very faint but um no we at nod the... at that. <laughs> hmm. She's trying to hide her reaction, but she's fucking sucked. Wow. I haven't rolled well all night, guys. It's mad mage all over again. Yeah, Zed is just gonna give her this deadpan look. And hopefully not roll worse than her on hit on insight. <laughs> oh by one I rolled better. Wow. What, what's she deceiving on? Wow. Oh, she was trying to hide her reactions. Mm -hmm. What is what is the reaction? A nod. Uh, she uh, reacted to Zed's mention of a couple safe camps. Like she knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Good to know I'm not the only one who knows a couple of them. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure you don't. And you totally didn't just nod along when I said there were a couple. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm hmm Pull the other one. Huh? Ah, uh, uh. never mind. Well, let's just get moving then. Let's get out of this desert at least. Yes, please. And maybe maybe get a new shield at some point. Sorry. Oh god, now we just have like a day walking ahead of us and Dario's already just dead. Yep. And sad. Tika's here at least now. You found Tika, she's not going anywhere. Yeah. Hooray. I mean, on the other hand, we covered like a fucking billion miles with that spread. Well, it's really going to did. equate to about an average day. If we wanted to, we could totally just kind of like relax a bit, but nah. So what you're saying is we need to buy another shield and do it again. So what I'm saying is now that we know that this is a thing, we should buy a six pack of shields. Uh, I believe you can only get rid of one point of exhaustion per long rest. So we're gonna need like a week of doing nothing then. I see. Oh, damn. Two days. Uh, Alright, my bar, it's your turn to pull. <laughs> I mean, we uh, should at least find a safer place instead of out in the open. Um, I will say one thing. Uh, well, two actually. Uh, this is something Rava would know. Rava, you know you're about a day away from Gerudo City. No. Little buddy. Rava will reckon well. Oh, I will say the second thing I was going to say is that in Gerudo City, you can get your hand on surf seals. <laughs> well, I guess we're know where we're going. Shit. Rava looks very doubtful about, like, she, she's going to look at, at um, Mavar and Dargo and look confusedly at Zed and be like, mm, boy. Uh. I mean, if Darko's not exhausted, he can just roll. He doesn't have to go insanely fast. It's more the getting into Gerudo City. Yeah. Which is only for women. Need to have female presenting nipples. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, oh I mean, God. we can at least go there for supplies. You guys just can't go inside. I'm sure there's yep. a place to rent outside. Oh yeah, you could probably rent seals outside the city. They probably charge twice as much. Yes. Uh. <laughs> For hey, buddy. Oh god. I mean, you know. But there is water supplies. and supplies. Um, wait. So Don't two things. One, Zed could totally dress up as a girl. I think he'd pass. Uh -uh. 
Um, Maybe. Kurt yeah, doesn't want. He will. Huge flinch. You're Darko, gonna have to do some. Darko is not technically a male. He would be let into Gerudo City. And greet everybody as brother. I mean, all Goron do that. They realize yeah. that. Yeah. Like, Goron are, yeah. are not males. So they are they actually are allowed in the city. Yeah. Just they like the Crystal Gems. Genderless. So the only problem would be Mavar has to dress like a girl. and Or, so does you know, go invisible? Uh. <laughs> sure. And <laughs> open up like, the um... city. Sure, there's no magic users that will be able to detect you. What could go wrong when Mavar is Everything. discovered invisible in the city full of women? Mm-hmm. <laughs> then I'll be yeah. dressed as a woman. Sushi. That's true. <laughs> Oof. Am yeah. I wrong? Mm-hmm. Am I wrong? She's we don't need supplies. Guys outside. <sighs> but Wait. we do need supplies. Yes. It will give Dargo more time to rest after the world's fastest roll. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and sand seals. Bork, bork. This is... bork, bork. Why don't we head that way? It's still in the yeah. proper direction. That's true. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's not complete desert. There's a little more life there. Yeah, there's an oasis and like a river apparently. Yep. Hey, Mavar, water. <laughs> hey, that Mavar. river is actually the biggest river. Um, it's <laughs> think, uh, maybe not as big as Nile, but it is. There are ships like that's how they get uh, supplies <sighs> through the city. I think we know where Mavar wants us to go. Yeah. Yeah, that's headphones. Yeah. Alright, so you guys head to Gerudo City. Are we going to get attacked by a Mulduga on the way? They don't have Muldugas that near the city. We managed to chase them away at the very least, so that they're not a danger to, you know, people heading to the city. Which is probably why there was that displaced one up on the northern camp um, thing. Hmm. It was a baby. Right. So you guys head to Gerudo City. Uh, it's gonna take you guys another. D- I'd say, considering Dargo's exhaustion, it probably takes you the better part of two days. So the rest of this day, basically, that you guys don't get too much travel done. Um, considering the insane yep. amount of. Mm-hmm. energy spent and then I'd say somewhere mid-evening you see Gerudo City coming up that means we got a long rest though so Dargo loses one point of exhaustion get out of there yep. no. bad kitty how Hobbs <laughs> get your butt out being Hobbs yeah being Hobbs Hobbs why can't you be a good cat why can't you be Earl's a- curled up in his box <laughs> Why can't you be like Earl? Get your butt out of here. Come Do on. you have a box for him in your room? No, because he's not supposed to be in my room. Because I'm horribly, horribly allergic to him. That's true. <laughs> yeah. But he's such a good fuzzy boy. <laughs> <laughs> so we are, I'm going to say before we um, get to the city, like once we spot it, Tika is going to hand her weapons over to uh, someone else. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to decide who isn't going into the city. Well, they're gonna rust if you give them to me. So, uh... well, yeah. Yeah, Maybe what's the uh, what's the verdict on Zed? Yeah, what is Zed doing? Somebody's. Oh God, there's one thing that could convince him to go in the city, even if shield? it's dressing like. Yep. You Green need shield a new shield, armor. Zed. You see, Zed flinch. Rob is not really the one doing the convincing. But I don't have... I. You need a shield, Zed, and you know what... I, I, you know what best shield to get. Also, then you can hold my bows. 
I will fine. Thank you. Zed is gonna stomp off behind a uh behind a dune. But if anybody Rose shouts after him, it's like, don't worry, you can keep your hat. My roots will show if I take it off, so yeah. It's true. Or I can give you a van. I can find more want. ink. Wait, 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 hold on. What was that? Uh, Rava offers Zed a veil if he wants it to cover his hair with. Oh. Can I get a veil? No. <laughs> <laughs> god. Oh god. I suppose. She doesn't really have a shortage of veils, so sure. <laughs> I'm the prettiest fish. Zed will pause and be like, oh, most of, most of the clothes I have are things to cover my armor. Hold on, I can I can work with this. Yeah, it's like, Rob can't really offer any clothes. They don't have the same size at all. I mean, honestly, you don't have to wear a dress. You just have to be I know. presented as female. I know. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, well, the really biggest thing like is... Wrap, but... Take the bindings. And... Yeah. Hold on, let me see. I mean, it probably takes some time because he has to get out of his armor, get mm. rid of the bindings, and then... Get back into it. Yeah. But it's possible. It obviously isn't making him very comfortable because he hasn't really been acting like a female. Mm-hmm. For ages. What you talking about? What? So Zed now looks female. So fucking weird. And very, very uncomfortable. And Mavara's staying out here because River. <laughs> Just oh, don't gosh. swim off too far. We'll have to be able to call you later. But enjoy the water. <laughs> Bye! And he's gone. <laughs> 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 oh god did he take the veil with him <laughs> that veil is so uh, wet by the yeah. time you get back oh <laughs> so, uh, gross would I be right to assume you don't actually have anything planned for Gerudo City Carp? no we're gonna <laughs> end there <laughs> alright that's why I was letting you guys mess around <laughs> yeah <laughs> so now you know we're in Gerudo City and you know what to pl plan for now past the guard yeah. yet all right. Oh, that'll be that'll be fine. You'll be fine. Do you yeah. want Do you want to do the shielding outro? I'm no. Sorry, what? Uh, I mean, you should be <laughs> shilling for Friday, Garm. Yeah. Yeah, Garm. Yeah. Uh, so this is about the end of our session for Legend of Hyrule. Uh, come back on Friday at six p.m. Mountain, where I'll be running Crossroads, which is a D and D five E campaign in a, in a retro world by your boy Garm Break One. Uh. It's weird. I put a lot of work into it. I hope it goes well. Me too. What It'll else we got? Uh, next Friday at 6pm Mountain Time we have Dungeon of the Mad Mage again, where we'll actually have webcams. Uh, and is that about all we have going on right now, isn't it? And every Wednesday, 5pm Mountain Time, we have Legend of Hyrule. Yep. And beyond that, remember to subscribe here on Twitch or on YouTube. Uh, we have a, tw a Twitter account at Midgardia RPG where we try to post when we go live, so there's that too. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to support us, we have a Patreon, um, which is also Midgardia, and there's a merch store where you can get some fun designs made by me on shirts and mugs and stuff. Yeah, I think that about covers it. Uh, Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! Have a good night.